there could be complexities to just having that many, uh, just another topic. So uh, complexities associated with having so many satellites, uh, especially with competing companies and competing nations. Do you see that as an issue, having tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands yeah. of satellites? Yeah. It becomes a very interesting robotics collision avoidance problem. The the one thing to keep in mind is perspective. Like I know 10,000 satellites and 20,000 and 100,000 satellites sounds insane and it sounds really scary. But I mean, just even look at how many planes are in the air at any given time. Mm -hmm. And the planes are are bigger. They're flying slower, which actually means there's a greater chance of collision. If you think about, you know, two objects occupying space, if they're one's moving really fast, like imagine trying to, you know, throw two basketballs at each other, relatively easy. Now try shooting two bullets at each other and have like, you know, at 90 degrees from each other. You have to have your timing down like really perfect to do that. Now take that times 10, you know, and these objects are taking up a physical space, a very small amount of time. They're relatively small. Like most satellites are not very big and they have in limitless altitudes to deal with. So even though you can have what look like convergences, you know, they can be 10, 20, 50, 100 kilometers difference often. And, and you know, they're, they're dealing with this. Like all the, the, all space assets know, hey, I'm at this orbital plane and this blah, 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 blah. And they know their altitudes and know their safe distances and have these margins built in. And it's space. So there's like an insane amount of room, of, you know? So there's- yeah, There's a lot of margin. There's but, a lot of margin. But of course you can't excuse that all the way. Like you have to still have plans and and be considering that and considering collisions and considering all of the above.